Hello, so today I would like to look at primitives and explain some differences between primitives in Houdini and how they would operate in other applications, if you've used other applications of course. So let's first of all create a grid again. So I'm just going to create a geometry node, we've done this many times, and a grid. And this time I'm going to reduce the amount of rows and columns this time. I'm going to select some points, these two points, and I'm going to move those points. And then I'm going to select, let's go into my selection mode, and this time click the primitives button. Now here I'm selecting like a face or a polygon is what it's often referred to in other applications. And at first glance it might seem that they're the same thing and in reality in this situation that's exactly what they are, they're the same thing. I can now go into my transform and I can move that around just as I would in Maya or Max or Blender or whatever I'm using. However, in Houdini it's actually called a primitive and there's a reason for this. If I go back into my grid node I can see this here primitive type and this primitive type changes. So I could have it as a polygon but I might also decide to use a NURB surface which is also called a primitive in Houdini. So let's change this into, into my NURB surface and as I can see I've got this curved surface. A NURB in my understanding is kind of like an approximation or a, an average between so various points and it creates a kind of a curved surface I suppose. I don't know a lot about NURBs, it's not something I use very often, uh, but, but basically I think that's how it works and of course I can modify some certain things here to change the shape of it. If I go back here I'm pretty much back to where I began with the with the polygons so and this creates a kind of a smoother surface right. Um, it's not uh, a polygon uh, that's the first thing that we need to know. It's not a polygon. A NURBS is something different. And most of the time I'm working in polygons when I'm when I'm designing or working. Um, um, but it's important to know that when we refer to primitives in Houdini, it could be a polygon, it could be a NURB, it could be Bezier, it, it could be whatever is basically on this list. So anyway, I hope that's a little bit helpful. And um, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Okay, thank you very much. Have a great day.